Here we have your torque. Right now we're running your generator. You got your power on, your tongue jack, extend, retract. You got two 30 pound LP tanks, both full. Regulator on top. So, pointing to the driver's side, you're gonna be using this tank. Pointing to the passenger side, you're gonna be using this tank. 12 volt battery. It is a deep cell battery. Your lights on the front cap here. I will show you how the how you turn those on. Generator here, your exhaust. So I'm gonna point at two breakers in your generator um, to actually be charging your battery and need to be turned on or even work or anything. Okay, these two breakers right where my finger is pointing in. Start button to the left. Um, prime and start. You're gonna push and hold prime on the bottom and then push start. Water heater, city water if you're just gonna use the water from the hose, spray port, a condensation line from your refrigerator, your gray tank and black tank. You gotta be right there. Satellite cable input here, uh, your 50 amp power. Fuel, this fuel here will also, is gonna control the fuel for the generator as well as your auxiliary fill port. And then the auxiliary on and off there. The back door drops down as a gate. Um, you got stabilizers. Your stabilizer controls are on the passenger side here. Um, they'll stabilize. These are air vents for the back garage. Just in case you're side by side or four wheeler or it gets all like a rainy musty smell then you can air it out. This door goes to the garage of your unit. Bracket only put screws in your unit for where the bracket sticker is. Um, cable output, spray put, spray port. Um, to fill the tank on the unit itself you're going to want to fill water in here. Black tank. Don't use black tank. Don't don't pressurize black tank up with water unless your valves are open. So don't use this port unless you're at a dump station and your valves are open and you're, and you're hooked into the ground. And then go ahead and put water to it. Um, exhaust gets extremely hot. Here are your front stabilizer controls here. And then a pass through. You got a 50 amp going down to 30 and a 30 going down to a 15 amp with the sewer hose. Now we're gonna go inside your unit here. Speakers are controlled from the radio inside, I'll show you. So right to the right, you got your control panel. Your radio, zone two's gonna be outside, zone one's gonna be inside. Let's see if I can make that a little bit better for you. Uh, don't look like it. Um, these are buttons that show you your levels. It says bad, battery, fresh, black, gray, auxiliary. This one here is water pump, water heater, gas side, car, uh, cabin light. So these are going to be the lights inside. Cap light, remember the light I showed you in the front, the LED lights, that's going to be those. Um, porch light or awning, you only can have one or the other. Um, middle's off. Um, aux is light, slide. Make sure when you're bringing your slide in, your your couch there is up at, in the upright position and your bathroom door is shut and your cupboard doors when you're bringing your slide in. Um, your awning, you got a power awning. That will power out. We'll start from the master bedroom and we'll make our way to the garage. Master bedroom, you got two individual reading lights as well as the generator start button. Um, here the start button is the exact same one as it is inside the generator. Um, you'll push and hold prime for about three seconds and then push and hold start for one second. Um, the flashes will indicate here. Turn it off, you just push it one time downwards. TV bracket mount hookup uh, as well as your TV cable hookup all right there. You got the king size bed coming into the kitchen 
Uh, you have your TV hookup for there. There's your bracket. AC is going to be controlled just like your one at home. You're going to just push the button on the left side. Right here. To choose what you want to do, you're going to heat, off, fan, cool, furnish, off. Keys are on your sink. Microwave, best indicator if you have at least 30 amps is going to be your microwave. If your microwave's not lit up, you ain't going to be able to use your AC, microwave. Um, your stove top, just turn it over to the flame and then use the igniter on the left side. Um, it's just going to be like a grill at home. Fridge, you got the on and off here. Um, and then push in to use auto, you're going to go from short power to propane as soon as you disconnect short power. Bathroom's pretty self explanatory, ain't really got to get in too deep here. You got your GFI breaker right there on the side of the sink. Run into the garage. The garage here, you got another AC control. This works the exact same way. To get the bed down, you're going to raise the couch. The couch is all the way up. And then you're going to come and pull each pin like this. There's one in each corner holding the bed up. And then you'll pull those and the, and the bed will come down with the couch. Now to get the couch is, the couch is flat, you're going to pull these pins. There's one on each corner. And then lift, lift the couch up flat and push at the wall. And then put the pin back in. Carpet, table. Manuals, um, cord, fire extinguisher, it's all in the box. I hope you guys enjoy your camper. Thank you.